Central Illinois Newsday on WMBD. And we're back in the kitchen this Friday. We are doing something carnival themed because a lot of fairs are going off around the region now. So what not a better time? Yeah, that's right. Fairs. I mean, if you can't get out to the fair in this 110 degree weather, which <laughs> yeah. is always about fair season, this is nice. You know, you can have the fair at home without the fair. So I love corn dogs. Corn dogs are real easy to make. Kids love them, you mm -hmm. know, but they are easy to make and they're a lot better than going and buying the kind of the box. I mean, for the price of what you do this at home, you could buy, you know, two corn dogs at the fair. This will wow. make probably six or eight. So love it's that. a big difference. We'll get started. The batter is real easy to make. It'll stay overnight in the fridge. Uh, it works out great and it's real easy. A few ingredients. We're going to start with a cup of flour. And this is a wet batter, so it's nothing that'll work in an air fryer or something you want to deep fry. And we're going to have one cup of yellow cornmeal to that. And we've got a little bit of baking powder, a little bit of salt, and a quarter cup of sugar that sweetens it up. And we've got a little bit of baking soda that goes in there. And we kind of just take those, those are all our dry ingredients, we stir those up real good together. And again, see how easy this is. And uh, when, you, when you're making this, you want to go ahead and get your deep fryer. I've just got like a big, that's like the granddaddy deep fryer. <laughs> Isn't that fry daddy, fry granddaddy? Yeah. <laughs> it's a big one. It doesn't need to be that big, clearly. Um, but you get your pot going. You want your grease to be about 375 degrees. You want to make sure you use a thermometer to temp that out. That's the reason for this little thing I have here, because I can really adjust that temperature. OK, to that, we're going to put a little well in the middle. We're going to add one egg. We're going to add our milk, which is one and one quarter cups of buttermilk. And if you don't have buttermilk, what you can do is take one fresh lemon to one cup of milk and squeeze that together. It does the same thing. Wow. Buttermilk just has the acidity in it to kind of let it curdle and thicken. Mm -hmm. So we're going to mix that together. And then I like to sweeten it up just a little bit more. We're going to add some honey to that. So yeah. that is your batter. You put that in the fridge, you let it set up for about five to 10 minutes and it's ready to go. And when it comes out, it looks like this. I've got these nice little cups. You wanna get a cup that's longer than the hot dog or just as long when you kind of stir it around. Mm -hmm. But then you get your hot dog out and you put it on a skewer, just like that. You run the skewer about three quarters of the way through the hot dog, which I went a little far on that one, didn't I? Okay. <laughs> and then what we're gonna do is you wanna make sure that there's no moisture. So when you get your hot dogs out, you want to make sure you put them out for about 10 minutes and you want to get all the moisture out. That helps the batter to stick. To even go a little further, especially if you're using a beef dog, what we do is we take a little bit of cornstarch and just kind of rub that on the hot dog just lightly. And what that does, it helps the batter stick to that. Wow, it's a pro tip. Yeah, a little, a little pro tip there. And then what we want to do is we just stick that dog directly into that batter. We kind of swish it around like that. And then you want to go immediately, just kind of let that drip off a little bit and you go immediately into the grease. You let that sit a little bit until it starts to cook and then you just kind of let it go. Now these only take just about four or five minutes in there so you want to let them get as dark as you want them okay. but actually all you're wanting to do is get the dog heated all the way through. So they'll brown up pretty nice. I've got this set at 375 degrees, which I think is fine. Now, if you're using a bigger, thicker hot dog, you may want to, gosh, what a mess I've made. You may want to, uh, <laughs> you may want to. The reason for the grease being hotter is you don't want it to be cooler because if it is, then it'll absorb more of the grease right. and it'll get soggy. The breading will fall off. The hotter the grease, the quicker it fries. Wonderful. So, and that's all it is. And then you do it just like my dad taught me when I was a kid. You go to the fair back then, they had paint brushes like this. You'd brush the, mustard and the ketchup onto them, and that is the carnival hot dog. 